Hey everybody, good morning. It's Cindy Utter here with my Artsy Endeavors. And yes, it's morning. I'm still drinking my coffee, as you can see. I haven't drank very much of it yet. Um, I'm here to do a quick flip through of a glue book. This is a grab and glue that, um, oh my gosh, I did this a long time ago. Um, and I just, I've had it on the shelf and every now and then I'd pull it out and play in it. And while I was in the midst of going from one home to another, moving, I actually kept this out so I could finish it up. So I just want to give you guys, let me bring it in just a little bit, see if I can get you a little bit closer. And I'm sorry about that glare. There we go, glare's gone. Um, it looks like it's a little bit dark, but I'm trying. I only have one light with me right now. So um, I just want to give you guys an idea of my grab and glue. <clears throat> and this has got a little bit of everything in it. It has collage, it has doodles, it has die cuts, it has scraps of paper, um, just a little bit of everything. This was the actual original page, this um, brick wall and the, these, uh, this, the lady and the young child, and then the, the ground here. That was the original page, and then I just added the other stuff to it. Um, time to take a closer look. I mean, these books, the way, <coughs> pardon me, the way I've put them together, um, it, it's just neat because your eyes go everywhere. There's really, you know, I try to do a focal, but whatever you become, be an amazing one. I just thought he was cool. I cut him, I think, out of a newspaper. Oh, this is where I glued two pages together, so I'll have to re-glue that. Like I said, this one's old. This one's really old. Uh, what makes a woman feel beautiful? A youthful radiance that shines from within. And I just thought that was gorgeous. Watch. And a lady with her little eyeglass. and Hype up your art. Oh, just stuffs. <laughs> oh, don't mind my... my uh, computer it's gonna ping just a lot of fun I really enjoy doing these and this was originally a lush catalog um, if you're not familiar with lush it's a uh, company that sells um, soaps and shampoos and deodorants and all that kind of stuff that's all natural um, they have wonderful wonderful soaps and shampoos Now this couple pages, there's this page here, which is, it's really wrinkly, and I'll tell you why. I decided one night when I was sitting down doing some collages that I wanted to do it with um, Mod Podge, and let me tell you, that's not, or I'm sorry, Matte Medium, I think it was Matte Medium. It's not a good thing to do on these pages, because it does, it makes them wrinkle, but um, yeah, after that I didn't do it. I, you can't really tell on camera, I don't think, but... Um, yeah, I can tell in person. <laughs> Love this little Nomi guy. Nomi! Just so much fun. Hmm, this little bird. Love this. This is a dye that I have, this mask. Love it. It's just gorgeous. He says, beautiful. <clears throat> like I said, this is a combination of scraps and scrapbook papers and others art that I've cut out of um, magazines and die cuts and just you name it. It's in here. Old book text, tissue paper, um, doodles, painted papers, jelly prints are in here. And it's just fun. And it's funny because I could still keep going on these pages and just keep doodling and doing. And, and some of these toward um, the back of the book, I don't do a whole lot of doodles, which is fine. I mean, you know, it is what it is. And I enjoyed every minute of it. So at this point, I'm calling it done. So Just so much stuff. That's one of Gina Aaron's stamps that's on tissue paper. 
<clears throat> this is an arrow that I got from a swap a long, long time ago. I think that was in Crazy Island Family. My dear friend Barb sent me this labyrinth, which I thought was really cool. These guys I cut out of a Flow magazine. I just thought they were great. Love her. I just absolutely love her. I think she's gorgeous. Um, this was a video that I did where I made picture frames um, out of fabric samples and I, I cut them with a die on the die cutting machine. Hmm, don't know. Just whatever. This is a piece of jewelry, ice, ice jewelry on it from a magazine. She is, um, my sister had given me a bunch of these uh, greetings. They were old time greeting cards and I just copied a whole bunch of them. So that's what that is, a copy of the greeting card. Art supplies, playing around with uh, jelly prints or foamies. That's a foamy that I was playing with. <clears throat> Some washi tapes, stickers, things cut out of magazine, old piece of cardboard. This is just a um, piece of um, where I cut, I punched all these little stars out of it. So that's just the leftover. Just a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So when you're doing your glue books, um, you're grabbing glue. Um, the biggest thing I can tell you is it doesn't always have to make sense. Um, one of the ways that I bring these books or these pages together is by doing the black. And I just use, um, actually Mary Altier, Mary um, Abrams had turned me on to these. Um, they're called pen and gear permanent markers. And um, you get them at Walmart and they're two for 44 cents. So I just use those markers and I come through and I outline everything in the picture. Well, most everything, I missed that. Look at that. I missed it right here right here um, I just go through an outline stuff and it just it kind of brings the whole thing together right there we go <clears throat> but you know it doesn't I know um, there are people that the some people look at it like oh my god how can you put all that mishmash together it doesn't mean anything to me, it's just expression. It's called self-expression. And I'm just doing what feels good to me, what looks good to me, and it's all good. I, I just, I love it. I love this picture of these two. I thought that was really cool. And I thought about doing a lot more doodles on this, but I really just kind of wanted that to stand out, so I left it as is. Like I said, some of them get simpler the more we go. Um, because this is an old piece of canvas. This is a uh, um, embossing. This is uh, I was playing around with some embossing. This is fabric. Just fun. Old piece of money. Well, I don't know if it's old, but it's a piece of money. <laughs> this came from a JR's hometown grill and pub I went to. So see, even though it, some of it may not make sense to other people, it makes sense to me. Um, hmm, that place I did. <clears throat> they make sense to me because, like I said, there's things in here that I can relate to. This was a calendar that I had one year that had all these really cool animals on it. This just came out of a magazine. See how I said toward the end they get simpler? They're just, they're much simpler. And I think, you know what it is, honestly. I've been playing with this book for so long, I'm tired of it. <laughs> this apparently is what I think about mushrooms, which is very true. Um, I drew this back in 2014. So it was just a card that I had stuck in my stash. And this is hair. That city, I love that. That's really cool, that whole city. I might come back and do some doodling on these pages. Again, this is that calendar. Um, piece of fabric. This, I have no idea. It's a copy of something. Piece of cardboard. I didn't put any words on this page. 
I just like it as is. Oops. This one is just colorful. That's it. This, I thought about doing the same thing. I was like, you know, do I want to put a focal? Nope, I don't want to do anything on this. And look, I can do another page or I can glue them back together, which is what I'll do. This one. Some bingo card and then a piece of tissue paper. You know, like I said, you can, you can use anything in these grab and glues. It's just, they're so much fun. And it's also a great way and a great place to use up, you know, little pieces of doodads here and there that you have in your stash. And you're like, what am I ever going to do with that? Um, this has got embossing on it. It actually has glass beads on it. It feels cool. A little piece of painted papers or, you know, stenciled papers. or These are just the little letters I had. One of my doodled flowers. <clears throat> stuff this I got in the happy mail I believe and there may be a few pieces of happy mail in here this came out of a magazine this is where I was scribbling on a page so you know love this one put down the um, the glue down here I left them open so they would um, paint brushes that I cut out, a card I had, just fabulous. This is actually a picture I took in Vegas. Um, I actually have a great big stack of pictures that I took of all kinds of things. Um, textures and backgrounds and just beautiful, beautiful things that I could use in the art. And this just happens to be one of the pieces that I, one of the pictures I took in Vegas. And there she is. Yay! She's done! Now, I want to show you guys real quick. Um, I had a page come apart here, right? I'm not worried about that one. No. Nope. Well, maybe I can't find it. No big deal. Uh, but anyways, I was just going to use a glue stick and go in and glue it together. But there you are. There's another completed grab and glue. It's going to go up on my shelf with the rest of them. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. You know, I'd love to hear from you. Um, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. And as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.